Much of the planet relies on groundwater. In certain regions in Asia, the United States, Latin America, Africa and the Middle East, supplies of groundwater are rapidly vanishing. As aquifers decline and wells begin to go dry, people are being forced to confront a growing water crisis. In Africa, the water problem is the primary reason people are unable to rise out of poverty. Women and children bear the burdens disproportionately, often six hours or more each day, fetching water for their families and community. I went in search of a project that involved water consumption and agriculture and landed in the Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology, which is one of the top universities rich in innovative projects. I landed on a great system called the Capillary Week system developed by a BSc agriculture graduate and the founder of Larry Week Consultancy. Days later, I joined Larry on his trip to Machakos County in Musalani area as he installs the system for Mr. and Mrs. Muya. This installation is made possible by the partnership between Larry Consultancy and World Vision Program, which has sponsored many of his projects. Larry Mwendwa, uh, a BSc Agriculture uh, uh, graduate from the Nokia University of Agriculture and Technology, uh, and also the founder and the CEO of Larry Consultancy, uh, which is uh, a fund which uh, installs agricultural uh, uh, systems. Uh, basically, right now we are working with uh, agricultural uh, irrigation systems and uh, uh, Having investigated and also fabricated and invented uh, Larry Week, uh, we are installing capillary week systems uh, to different clients all over the country. And uh, basically, what motivates me to do uh, this system of capillary week system, uh, it's because I was raised in arid and semi arid, uh, arid place that is uh, the eastern part of Kenya. And uh, when we were growing up, we had many challenges, especially of uh, nutrition. And I think sometimes I also went under nutrition issue when I was young. And uh, that motivates me to bring back to the community what I learned in the university uh, about uh, systems which can help these people uh, utilize the, their land, which is uh, not as, uh, as much rain fed as, as other places, it's not hard arable, but when you use some such systems, uh, they can get uh, food, especially uh, vegetables, uh, which improve their nutritional uh, capacity of their bodies. So my motivation is bringing back to the community where uh, I came from and also other places which have the same conditions. And also in urban areas where they have, they have no space so that they can increase their food output and at the end of the day we, we achieve food security in the country. How capillary week uh, irrigation system is installed? So first we mix the medium which is uh, uh, the soil manure and uh, we mix in the ratio of uh, two to one, that is soil, sand and manure, respectively. After that we put the uh, wicks in the containers. After putting the wicks in the containers, we also now put the mixture, the soil mixture into the 
<laughs> after that we can now plant we can now plant uh, our seedlings and after planting our seedlings we we water we water for the seedlings to at least get water because the medium was dry and uh, we water for one week so that uh, the plants can gain momentum uh, and uh, absorb the shock so from there you can leave the system now to be watering uh, by via weeks now so after that we will stick our plants to the uh, place where we have made like the structure like this one and uh, after that we insert our wicks in the uh, water reservoir and after that uh, the system is it's okay it's set to go it's actually a very simple system to install you can also automate the system actually using gravity so that uh, you have a header tank and you have a float switch or a float valve or bulb valve whereby when the water is uh, uh, goes down in the reservoir the float switch switch come now from the main uh, tank the overhead tank and uh, once the water is in the overhead tank you can actually go for a journey it, 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 it can say sustain long enough because now the system will be automatic without uh, even power we also need the seedlings which we, we plant after setting the system and now we also need the reservoir which holds our water where the wicks draw the water from to the containers with the medium uh, about the structure if you are doing it outdoor uh, and the place is very hot or it's very sunny you might use a shade net to reduce the heat and also on the sides you can use a pest net or you can also do it in a greenhouse if you have a greenhouse you can do it in a greenhouse uh, because uh, the advantages which come with that because if it's a protected area we are going to have less issues of diseases and uh, pests uh, of uh, infestation mama sito ni tawa alisi mweka li moya moya wa mutume akwa ni tungia nga ino nduwa onenga wa onena na nduwa la ma ndrende kukundete usubi wa kigu na upandi wa mboka wede enge kwanyi Didi ndange tindu wano kulati ya mboka. Na nethi wano mundu mwa katika community. Nge motu ya. Mitunga mbea nunduwa. Anduwa kumbwa na kanea. Kuhundete mboka. Kanitha tia kwa kiguke nini. Anjasi angaia mongelele maisha maasa. Nikana mwone wa anduwa ngezi ni wa community. Mama bandi wa mboke no. Nundu meitha maka umina. Matina ndini wa mesi.